Hey all my elite creators, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload those Snapchat filters that we learned to design in Silhouette Studio. If you haven't checked out that video, the link will be right here and also in the description box. Also, if you're here and you're new to this channel and you haven't hit the subscribe button, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I drop new videos. All right, to upload your custom Snapchat filters, you're going to go to the website, which is www.snapchat.com slash create. All right. Now, I'm going to use the filter that we created in our my tutorial video on how to create them. So to, um, for the Snapchat filters, they do have to be 300K or less. So what you want to do is make sure that you check your filter um, or check your size to make sure that it is under 300K. So right here, I'm at 255 for this one. So it's going to be the perfect uh, size for our Snapchat filter. So we're going to go back to the website, click get started. And you're going to choose filters. You're going to go upload. You're going to go wherever you saved the file. Place it at the top. And expand it all the way down. Because remember, we designed this to be exact. So we're going to go ahead and put that like that. You can hit preview to see it. And if you put it for a smaller phone, it's going to show you where it's cut off at. And so we talked about that in designing the Snapchat filters, that part of it will be cut off. So you want to make sure that you don't have any major or important text outside of that restricted area that we talked about in the uh, designing video. All right. So we're going to go back to the larger phone. All right. So just to see how it would look. All right. You're going to hit next. You're going to choose whatever date or time that you want your filter to run and then hit next. I'm going to leave it to wherever it defaulted. And then you're going to go ahead and put in the address of where your uh, filter will, will be. So you have to um, kind of hone it in. You can do a really big area. You can do a whole city. You're going to pay for the whole city. Um, so let's say like I did this really, really, really big area if it even let me do it. Okay, so sometimes that's too big. <laughs> All right, so let's kind of come down some and be a little bit more reasonable with the size of this. All right, so there, that's $564 for that 24-hour period. So you definitely will need to go ahead and uh, draw in your fence on the location that you want it to be in. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and say that, you know, we're having an event at the local park. Um, let's see, we're going to move over here or, you know what, our favorite place to go, let's go spares. Aha. Uh -huh. It's one of our favorite places to go. So you see, you're going to have your geo fence. Now this whole thing is spare. So you don't know where you're going to be bowling at when you're here. So you may want to go ahead and make sure you kind of cover the entire space. I mean, if you cover the entire space. Um, it will be a little bit, you know, more when you're doing the whole thing. I think like this is where their um, food and things are. So you may not need that. So we'll kind of come down here. So you never know where you're going to be at when it comes to uh, creating those snaps. So you can uh, adjust your fence. Maybe you don't need to go to the back of it. So we'll kind of bring it in some. Maybe kind of like guesstimating where the lanes will be. We're at 11. If you maybe want to do it to where they have that little, um, what is it? Like a little backdrop in the front. If you want to put it there and, you know, let everyone know, you can go take pictures in front of the backdrop. And that may be the only place like, you know, your filter will work. So I'm just trying to make this a little bit bigger. There is a certain um, 
size the fence has to be at a minimum. So as soon as it turns green, you know that you're there. There we go. So that one would end up being $10. Um, again, you can adjust it. And if I reset the fence, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit spares again. See, 1034 for that particular area. Then you're going to hit checkout. You know, it's going to confirm that it's placed properly. Hit continue. And then there you go. You'll put in all of your information. If you have a Snapchat account, you're going to want to go ahead and log in. That way they'll send you a notification once your snap, once your filter has been approved. Now it does take some time. It is not instant. Um, I want to say that it is the X at least two hours or something like that. It also depends on the time of day that you're doing it. So if you can do this within 20, like 24 hours before, it's going to be best. Like right now, um, so yeah, I want to say it's 11, 12, 1. So it's two hours because it gave me the time of 1 p.m. is the earliest that I can start this one. And it is 11 a.m. now. So it's about a two-hour window um, for them to approve. And I find that that's normally, do, like and they're pretty good on it during um, like regular business hours. If it gets very late, sometimes, you know, it does not. So the earlier that you can do it, the better. All right. So. Hopefully that helps. If you guys have any additional questions, do not hesitate to go ahead and post them as a comment below. My email address will be in the description box. So if you have any video requests, feel free to go ahead and email them to me. If you are a Silhouette user or maybe even a Cricut user, because I will be doing videos on how to use Silhouette Studio with your Cricut, feel free to go ahead, uh, click on the link in the description box to join my Facebook group, Silhouette Anonymous Silhouette Help. All right, guys, until next time. Have a great one.